We got upgraded. We're in courtroom number oh. one. Yeah, we're number one courtroom. Fortunately, we will not have backup for this, so we're on our own. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fry. Hey, I'll say Fry. He looks so posh. Like a posh douche. This is gonna be difficult. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's do this. Edgeworth, you're going down. We only have one judge in this system. He work he never sleeps. <laughs> he lives in the courthouse. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. We have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. Oh, he agrees with this way too quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, he's clearly right. Our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene of the crime. Oh, it's my man. Detective Gumshoe. A man gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir. Name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Map of the office to explain. Wait, you have the blueprint of the office? You have... Why didn't we get a blueprint? Yeah, yeah, who who gave him access to that? <laughs> That's okay. like a drawing. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blown object, sir. Murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was, heavy, it was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even even in a girl's hands, sir. I really hope you can contradict that last little piece there. Because oh. like like this frail medium has the strength to do it. Still called right, a statue. They... That. Well, that was right. the last turn you made a mistake of doing. Uh, it was the clock. It was the clock. And they took out all the gears and replaced it with paper. Now, detective. Sir? You immediately arrested Maya Fey, who was found at the scene of the crime, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence. Hard evidence. She did it, sir. What hard evidence? It wasn't really that evidence. Yeah, even the judge is doubting you. This hard evidence. <sighs> Boom. Phone call came in. I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. Defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, and the, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. As 
at Ms. Maya Fay. I, we had a witness account, account describing her. Witness saw Ms. Ma Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Bullshit. That, that's all crap. Very moment, you say. Cross examination. You'd have to be a dumbass, Phoenix. Smack. Wait, she's throwing crap at me. How did how no one notice? She would pull off and impress the witness on every detail. Always slips up and says something wrong. You know, that actually does work a lot in actual court. <laughs> nope, nothing's wrong. I'll begin my cross-examination. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. I'm literally going to hit him on everything. Okay, that one I'm not gonna bother pressing. Cause... Yeah, because that's true. Okay. Oh, what do you me? <laughs> Are you sure it was us? <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. Funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair. Do stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. love that. It's just like, you sure it was us? Well, I mean... Hold it! Hold it! She did it, correct? Oh. Uh, me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You did. You said it. Claim is hard evidence. Yeah, what is so hard evidence about what, this? What is the hard evidence? What was it? Already made him mad. This may isn't suspicious. And she sure isn't pink, pal. Literally everything about her is pink. Colorblind. Well, I guess she is pink. <laughs> That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Ooh. Huh. That actually worked. Yes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my way to, to uh, got the order of things mixed up in my testimony. Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. I feel like this judge is gonna always get, get sick of this crap about redoing testimonies. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Found a memo written on a piece of paper right next to the victim's body. Actually, I found that. Yeah. On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. The test result results show that the, vic that the blood was the victim's. Found the victim's finger. Before she died, the, vi the victim wrote the killer's name. That, that's my hard evidence. Fuck, how do I press this? <coughs> ah, we have a question for him. Butter? <laughs> 
Why didn't uh, you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, oh no. Forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try and be more careful. This is the kind of shit that gets people arrested. Ah, uh, cross-examination time. Uh, how are we gonna... How are we gonna do this? So I'm looking at that bar on the top right. That's our mistake bar, I believe. Yeah, so we have to be very careful. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. Is saying the killer wrote her own name? She was framed! Hush. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Well, uh, we do have the wiretapping. We don't have any actual evidence to back that up. Uh, that was actually working until you opened your mouth, that door. Yeah. Yeah, pal. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. books in the movies. This isn't a movie detective. Oof. Oof. Roblox. Oof. Let's stick to reality, shall we? Mm. I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no? You got a point, pal. Edward's gonna step in. Damn it. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of our killer. Order. There is your Order. proof of this. He said. That's a solid testimony. Has to be a contradiction in here somewhere. Oh, what's, what's that? Oh, wait, we already did that. Hobgobber, 
Perma Goblin Bobbin. <laughs> <laughs> Refuse to testify on this matter, pal. <laughs> I think that's like. I'm no expert on blood tests. Quite clear. <laughs> Yeah. I look forward to your next evaluation as you. Oh. That was a mess. Hey, where was I? Right hand. I'm pretty sure he was left handed. Damn it. Damn. <sighs> Man, there's gotta be something in the evidence. There's gotta be something. We're just going to hit everything. I mean, the victim wrote it. I don't know, let's see. Okay, we'll neither of those things would have really made any... Well, yeah. None of those things made any sense, because we know that, that he didn't do it. Don't know all. Hey, well, let's do the court records here. Like, we need to look at the court records. Like, see what we can do here. How did she get blood this. on her finger? Uh, let's see. The blood was the victims. Blunt force, blunt trauma. How would she be able to? She died instantaneously. Yeah. Backwards detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who could not have written it. The report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to blunt force trauma. She died immediately. What? No putting your way out of this one, detective. Order! Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately couldn't have had time to write anything down. Objection! Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon. When exactly did you obtain this that autopsy report? Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, so they asked us, right? Yeah. That thought your report is outdated, Your Honor. What? Perform 
yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate. What the semantics? This is bullshit evidence. It's not re that you no know, no. Do you honestly think she would have the cognitive ability to write out a name on a piece of paper? Forged evidence. It's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. Damn. Forged evidence. You look shocked. Yeah, no shit, I'm shocked. Yeah, with your bullcrap? Like, it's pretty obvious. Why would he need to do that? Say what you will. This evidence is a, um, in this report is undeniable. I mean, it's quite deniable. I submit this report to the court. And I will be looking, and we will be looking at this intently. Yeah. To use it against him. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim identifying the killer. Osh bastard. Now, this... We are going against the guy who's already forged evidence in the first testimony. This guy's an asshole. We get our asses kicked. Well, we got the link Oh. Miss May. Miss April, May, June, July may take the stand. Innocent. All oh, lies. I mean, we have the wiretapping thing that we can bring up. Oh no. <laughs> Witness your name, please. April, May. Oh god. Damn. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We'll refrain from wanton winking. Oh god, Japan. I know, Phoenix, this isn't good. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? I don't even want to bother reading this. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to like give a, a voice. Teenage to... girl. Yeah, I don't want to give a voice to this. This is too much. Checked in right after lunch. In this hotel is directly across from Fay and Co. Law offices. No. Yeah, that's. I'm not even reading this last part of the sentence. No, no, we can't. We can't. <laughs> my dignity. My dignity prevents me. o'clock at night. Looked Sheriff out the window. like 9 o'clock. I'm gonna nail her on that one. It was like 9 o'clock, huh? So, a woman with long hair being attacked. The attacking girl was the mousy, mousy girl. girl. The sure. Dodge from one side and ran away. To no. Please. Well, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor. Remarkably solid testimony. No, not at all. I need to trouble the witness any. Yeah, cross examination, Honor. Uh, 
Now, the techniques well. A cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, shut up. This is my job, <laughs> asswipe. I'm doing it. And we're doing it. We're going to blow this up. Yes, we're not doing it. Like nine. Why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? I mean, that's kind of subjective. I had a feeling. Please, no, no. Not a defense. <laughs> I want to see how far we can run with this one. But I feel like, yeah, Viper. Objection! Damn it, Edgeworth, back up. Yeah, again, we knew I was like. Bad and I knew Edgeworth would be a little. Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what he would do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Badger. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was... Needily for these trivial questions. I don't think this should be allowed. And, uh, and uh, every freaking man here just like, yeah, stop it. You've been warned. That's what your that's what you fucking say? It stinks. Lying. You're lying. Damn, life. We do. We were there. She was. I, mean, I was there. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Roar. Should we go ahead and add XB after that? This is, she's clearly got like cat aneurysms. I saw what I saw. Yeah, we saw what we saw. We can't get anywhere with that. I didn't think the trifling little details were necessary. Were. She doesn't care about details either way. Omit nothing from in your testimony. Stop winking at the judge. He's an old man. He doesn't want that. Almost had her. Let's 
see. Really? Right off to the right. <laughs> Be close. How does she know what's a clock? It is quite startling. The fact that you know that it's recorded as a statue, not a clock. <laughs> the only people who know it's a clock is the people who took place in the last court we uh, session we were in. Quick look at this autopsy here. There's nothing here to state that. Wait. Listen, we, we got her on the clock thing right now. Fuck, I, I want to see. We need to know where she was hit from. Because I feel like that could be pretty important information. Right here. is trying to confuse the issue of trivial concerns. It's not trivial! Posh man! Objection. I can object to that. The questions are all I have. But only once. Once, yeah. But it worked. Still did it. Sustained. That was close one. How do you know it was a clock? But you didn't. Wrong. the gears were missing. doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Oh, you never call a woman fat. <laughs> oh no. Tisk, tisk. Question mark. Quite the show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. You already knew the clock was empty. Hey, no. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock was empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? It was after the witness heard the clock. Then there is no contradiction. Wait, we can press this, though. Can press this. Because we have the phone. We have the log. Yes, I can. Impossible, of course. I have the proof. What? <laughs> what? So you told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And I'll show you the proof you like so much. I guess we'll sure. use the phone. Yeah, yeah, try with yeah, it's the phone. All right, we have to just prevent present the phone itself. Take that! Take that! Take a look at this. Indeed. Points. Attention. In his eyes! <laughs> Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. The detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Gotta say, starting to feel bad for the big fella. He's gonna lose his job. <laughs> Let's hear the conversation, shall we? Oh god. There's beefing again. The clock isn't talking right now. Ow. Your Honor, I think it makes it clear the clockwork is already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness ever arrived at the Curve Hotel. You guys are still playing this? Yes! We're on the second case. Just still? It's a long case. case for an hour. This has literally been AFK since like 6 o'clock. And I muted myself at 5. You guys must really like this game. Isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Man, that fit too well. This is where we can press her on this again. Yeah, because, like, this thing wasn't, isn't it so for stories. It was made for our friend Larry. Oh, yes. Heavy objections. <laughs> we are going to present the clock itself. It's simple. The clock was never in any store. Ever. A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. 
Everything is sold as doors. Maybe you should buy some better testimony. Yeah. Ha! Excuse is not on sale today. She's gonna go ballistic. She's about to go. Oh god, she's going Super Saiyan. Gosh. Ow, my feelings. Fuck, doesn't matter. She did it and she should die for it. Okay, these okay, these witnesses are really aggressive. Every call for our defendant death. See, even the judge is telling them to get out of It's like, whoa, calm them down. She's only in viper mode now. She's calmed down. It's okay. She had a little bit of an outburst. It's okay. She's she's shifting back and forth. There's so many terrifying. things I want to say. This is terrifying. Oh that face. She doesn't look... Oh, dear. At this point, we can bring the wiretapping. Oh, I see the truth of the matter. The clock, because... You heard about it. You had heard about it. That is correct, Your Honor. Right here. What's the wiretap we found? You were tapping the victim's phone. This is irrelevant. It's not. Not entirely sure that. Overruled. This is outrageous. Does the defendant truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on her on the phone? Yes. Can you prove that? I think I can. I mean, it does say on we already went through this. A statue. The thinker. You used the wiretap to listen in on the conversation, and that's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Objection! Edgeworth, you have nothing to stand on here. Like Edgeworth is really is he's just a sore loser. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Oh gosh, she's gonna go feral. <laughs> Did you tap her phone? Uh, 
Oh, she's pulling out the tears. The waterworks. Why the wire tab? Because she didn't kill her. Now, why did you tap her phone? Answer the question! Yes. You are under oath. You have to. Room service. All of this is irrelevant. Is what is this? The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. <laughs> She obviously didn't kill m m m Mia. It is my greatest pleasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that's a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant commit murder. Bellboy's a witness. Objection! I object to calling the bellboy. Why? Because I told them that wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Go my best. If you agree on one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy. And you'll recognize Miss April May was not the killer, thus she's innocent. Well, she's not the killer, so we can pretty much do that. And she was just an accomplice. Accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya No! Faye. No! That is my condition. Or that or give up. I'll accept. Cause we can hit him with something here. Wait a minute. I think we can do something with this. Well, Maya's guilty. Well, Maya's guilty now. <laughs> no, but we know there's someone else with her though. And I'm willing to make a guess that that is Mr. White. And we'll be able to get it out of this bellboy because he'll have to tell us. Yes, sir. He bring the scent. <laughs> he brought the tea and crumpets with him. We're good on meals. <laughs> I'm just assuming he took that order with him as he was leaving. So he just it's like, like, whoop. Him and still for delivering it. Like, like, whoop. 
Not gonna waste the crumpets. <laughs> it's a lot of tea. Acknowledging that. Very good, sir. The head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. In business for four generations. Received the call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. That's at nine o'clock. Mm hmm. Nine. That is very suspicious. We know where that bell is looking. Yeah, uh, yeah. At nine o'clock on the dot, just in time to drink tea while watching a murder happen. Yes, let's be uh absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Protest! Objection! Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Coffee for two. <laughs> we got him. We got him by the balls. 
I object. That was objectionable. No, it's Let's move on. Shall Objection. we? Oh, let's move. Or told him something he wasn't supposed to do. Oh my god, he was there. We have we have we have struck a blow to this man's integrity. Then when you brought the room to room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That is right. Your Honor, we have learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man who checked in with Miss May! Previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, it does not clear the man who was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time with a murder! Convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like. You'd like if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of this other man from the court. An accomplice to murder! Upstart, amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Also quite accurate. Uh, the judge has had enough of this. Yeah, he better ignore your damn argument. We will prove a lot for that one. <laughs> we were busting our own balls trying to get this far. Uh, we need to look into this matter fully. So, I guess it's time to figure out about Mr. White then. Yeah! The court is adjourned. Wait, court releases at 2.30? Oof. Quite an amazing fight in there. Pretty sure we picked up quite a new, quite a few new fans in there. The other attorney was pretty cool too. We just whipped him across the board. Eyes wide and trembling lips. Don't you fall for the posh man? Kind of shivers up my spine. He's literally a antagonist. No? No, you don't get to go home just yet. Not yet. See, we're, we're gonna, see, that was only part one of the thing. Wiretapping is a serious crime. Yeah. But I do have to say, we did technically steal that evidence. 
Yes, that that is true. But let's not worry about that. Probably have an afternoon of investigating to do. part that wasn't a lie.